Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to explain part 143 of Java for Tester series. That is packages. So what are packages? What are packages? In Java, the purpose of these packages is to is to group or categorize the related classes and other files in java projects okay so what is the purpose of packages guys the purpose of the packages is to group or categorize the related classes and other files in the java projects for example we have a java project and under this java project there are a lot of class files and lot of lot of other files okay which are not categorized guys okay by default they are not categorized let's say in this project so what is the problem that you will face guys if you have a lot of class files and lot of other files in the same java project what is the problem that you will face things will be a bit messy guys okay the first problem is that messy suppose if you want to find some class it will take a lot of time right it will take a lot of time to find it because there are a lot of classes and other files which are not categorized here in the java project okay and things are kind of messy so it's it will take we have to go through all the class files and other files and check their names to find the required class or class file or some other file whatever we are that is required okay so what is the solution guys if things are messy what we have to do we have to either group or categorize okay we have to group and categorize the related classes and other files okay we have to group or categorize related class and other files this is the solution so what is the purpose of grouping or categorizing or how you group it if you have to group this uh, different classes and other uh, files under this java project we have to use something known as packages guys okay so what is the benefit that we'll get after grouping this uh, different classes and other files using these packages so the benefit here is things will be more organized okay organized things will be more organized and also accessing will become easy accessing will become easy so let me take a real time example guys uh, for example guys uh, you have a lot of books with you okay so let's say you have a lot of books with you you have maintained a good collection of books in your house let's say and uh, and to to place these books there is a book rack let's say there is a book rack in your house like this okay a lot of uh, shelves are there and a lot of blocks are there where you can put all these books suppose if even though you have a good number of books and there and you are not using this uh, book rack properly you are direct without any plan you are placing the books in a different unorganized manner okay so you don't have a particular plan to place all your books in this book rack okay you are simply putting the books into this book rack and whenever tomorrow when you need a particular book what you will do guys you will keep searching from the first block guys okay whether my book is there in this uh, first block whether my book is there in the second block like that you keep on searching for the book until you find find it which takes a lot of time guys okay it's not because the books are not organized well in this uh, book rack and uh, it's take a lot of time since the things are messy here it will take a lot of time for you to find this book otherwise if i put all my motivation books here or like a uh, fiction books here okay story books here like the different books i if i categorize in different blocks here tomorrow if i need a book guys when i come here what i will do guys okay if i need a book from the fiction section so i'll directly go to the fiction section and i will i will find the book with easy okay in an easy manner i will be able to find the book because what is the, what what happened guys before and after before the books were not organized i have to keep and keep on searching in each and every block now once i organize my books then things will become easy guys i can directly go to that block and then get my book which will make the things easy okay so if it is more organized it will become more easy to access okay the same thing is applied for the packages also guys okay if you have a lot of classes and other files in the same java project and if you want to access a particular file it it will be very bit difficult okay you have to go through all the class and files to find the required class or file but if you group them or categorize them categorize the related classes and other files under different packages if you group the related class and files then 
the things will be more organized and it will be easy for you to access them tomorrow okay this is the advantage you will get guys using packages okay, we can group or categorize the related class and other files okay in the java projects which will make your organizing of this stuff and accessing of the stuff from the java project easier that is the purpose and the use of the packages in java so guys in this video session i will explain you how to how to create packages okay i'll show you how to create packages in the java project practically i will show you now okay so let me show you so let me create a java in the, let's launch this eclipse id guys uh, if the eclipse id is already launched just select this file say new and select this project and select any project guys say i will select this uh, java project from here and say next next and you'll ask for the project name give some project name say let's let me give a project name say facebook okay click on finish the facebook project got created here guys so now i'll show you how to create the project first okay how to create the package first so under this uh, project i will create some packages guys i will show you the process for creating the packages here so after expanding this uh, facebook project here you got some src folder here right click on that uh, src source folder and say right click new and then say select package guys okay so when you select package it will ask for the package name i'll give some package name guys that is let's say i will give some package name like login pack and click on finish and again i will right click on this src and say new and select package and this time i'll give logout pack and finish then i will right click on src and say new pack like this i can create any number of packages guys okay these packages are going to help me in organizing the things so that the accessing of the stuff will become easier for me okay now i will give another package based on the functionalities of the facebook guys i can create as many number of packages i want okay so let's say i will i will create some profile pack and uh, sorry uh, i did some mistake here let me delete this right click on src say new and uh, select pack and say profile pack so what is happening here okay okay let me create another package right click new package and i'll give something like uh, photos pack okay photos pack this option got selected guys somehow okay that's why the problem is coming you should not be selecting this option okay photos pack and select finish you see now it got created properly so like this i created four packages here guys okay under every package i can create class files okay let's say i want to create some some class file under this login pack so right click on this login package and say new and then select class okay and give the some class name let's say i will give something like create account okay some functionality related to the login of the facebook okay that is you can create a, using the login functionality you can create an account right so in facebook account you can create a new facebook account so for that i am creating a class guys new account create account now here i will click on finish the moment i click on finish guys this package name will be you will see this package name inside this class guys okay when you say finish along with the class name you will see the package name also okay you see when i created this class that is create account class public class the name of the name of this class name that is create account is there here guys okay class name is there along with this class name we also have the package name here okay inside this earlier when i used to create a class okay i i used to not get this uh, package name okay this package name was not there earlier but when i am creating a specific package and i am creating some class under that package i am getting the package name and class name both okay earlier i used to get only class name but i am also getting on the top of the class name i am also getting the package name okay so how to uh, how the java is uh, uh, like uh, naming the package right how to create a package inside this class you have to say package login pack okay if you are under the login pack you have to say package login pack okay the eclipse id is automatically adding this name for you guys okay if you are not using eclipse id if you are uh, out if you are writing the program outside the eclipse id you have to manually write this okay you have to create the package like this package and login pack you have to specifically write but here since eclipse id is like automating the things like uh, it's adding the package name adding the class name all these things for you okay so here this is a syntax case okay if you want this particular class to be under this login pack you have to write package login pack in eclipse id you don't have to write eclipse id automatically adds this statement for you okay so this is a syntax case package package name provided by a semicolon okay 
syntax of this package name is package package name syntax for the class name is class class name okay class class name here package package name fine now we created one class under the package now let's create another class under this login pack let's say new class login login to the account so login account i will say okay i'll say and click on finish even this login account class is also under the which package login pack that's why we got package login pack in both the classes we got package login pack here also login package login pack and the class name is different here and the create account class name is create account and login account the class name is login account but package name is same because these two classes are under the same package now let's create another one another class so forgot uh, i did a mistake here uh, that is like uh, this name should be in capital guys okay how to rename right click on this class name and say in the eclipse id how to rename this file if i did a mistake right click on this class file and say uh, some option will be there guys uh, refactor option will be there you have to find this refactor and say rename okay just rename this to capital c should be there class name should always start with a capital letter okay that's the mistake i did click on finish and go inside the create account i use it got updated now here login account also same thing guys i have to refresh i have to refactor right click refactor rename and uh, here capital l should be there okay class name should be in capital letter, capital letter like this okay fine now we'll create another class under the login pack that is new class i'll name this class as uh, forgot password okay forgot password class when i click on finish another class got created under the same login pack you see inside this forgot password also package package name that is login pack is there the package under which this under which this forgot password class is there is there here okay and uh, the class name is forgot password so any other classes that we can create here guys uh, that's fine i guess for now this is fine so now under the logout pack okay so under logout pack also you can create another class okay new class i will say logout logout from account okay click on finish this is another class under the logout now under photos pack i can create uh, photos pack otherwise uh, under profile pack okay i'll i'll create a class like add profile okay add profile click on finish you see in this what is the package name in this uh, add profile class guys it's not uh, login pack because this uh, add profile is created under the profile pack okay so add profile is created under the profile pack so the package name is profile pack here package name is profile pack fine so uh, now you can add like a post post update okay mm, or update profile update profile you can say update profile finish like that multiple classes which are related to the profile you can post under the profile pack right click new again another class delete profile okay finish like that under photos also you can you can say add album okay add album this add album class is under which package photos pack so package name is photos pack right click new class okay delete album finish and you have many functionalities in facebook guys you can out of your creative creativity you can create add photos to album okay like this you can create any number of classes so here guys if you observe the things there are different classes okay there are different classes under this facebook project I mean a lot of project uh, class files are there here and if you don't group them if if these packages are not there here what will be the problem guys it will be a bit difficult to find the required class files for example if i have to find some class file which is related to the login functionality i can directly go to the login package and find that for example if forgot password so what will strike guys when you think about the forgot password you will think that this forgot password will definitely will be there under the login package so you'll directly go to the login package and search here instead of searching for all the files instead of searching through all the class files to find the required forgot password file you simply guess that it will be there in the login package and then you'll go to that package and find this file that will be easy things will be more organized with the packages like this guys okay with the help of the packages we can group or categorize the related class files and other files in the java projects like this okay in the java project you can group the files like this guys okay that is the advantage
of uh, using packages in the java projects okay using packages in the java projects you can categorize all the class files uh, class files interface files other files whatever the files that are there in the java can be categorized properly or related things can be categorized together okay so that it will make your it will make the things organized and also it will, it will make you to access the things very easier way okay if you want to access something you can easily find and access that's how the packages help guys so guys that's all about the packages okay that's all about uh, what exactly the packages are uh, what is the purpose okay what will happen when you create a class under pi package okay package package name will be added right this syntax package package name will be added and how the packages will group the related class files and uh, interface files or uh, other files together all those things i explained in the this video session guys okay so this is all this this is all uh, this is about the packages guys okay this is about the packages and uh, we are not with not done with the packages yet guys there is lot of things to be explained about packages yet okay this is just an introduction to packages and uh, where i explained the purpose and all those stuff okay now in the next video session i'll explain another topic of packages that is default package i'll explain about the default package in the next video session guys so that's it guys see you in the next video session thank you bye